Hello all and welcome back to another video. If you already subscribed, welcome back my darling. But if you have not yet subscribed, what are you waiting on? Really and truly, what are you waiting on? Subscribe, join a part of the family, you know all the things, hit the notification bell, blah, 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 do all the things. Let's just go ahead and get into today's video. Two, three, let's switch this up. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a paranormal update. You've been keeping up with my lives and you follow me on other platforms. You will know that I had a spiritual advisor and a psychic that I was working with for a while. I ended up finding out some sketchy stuff about the psychic and it's just been me and my spiritual advisor, if you will, and other psychic that she has been familiar with and worked with for many, many years. And through this and really working on what I am, why is it that I experience things differently than other people experience things? How come my experience is so much more intense than other people's? And is there a name for what I am? Today, we're gonna get into that full update. And the last time that we spoke about this, which I can't get into a lot of detail on some things, with the other psychic because there is a whole other situation with her and it involves people that I don't know and I can't really get into much grave detail. Just know that I'm no longer working with her and sometimes people just aren't what they seem. Most of you guys know, I do not really go public with a lot of things that I experience. The reason for that is, is because I don't want anyone to ever assume that I could speak to someone in your family that's passed away. And I don't want people to think I am something that I am not, or I am capable of doing things that I cannot. So years ago, you guys know that I played with the Ouija board. And when me and my roommate played with this Ouija board, I've always experienced the paranormal, but from that day, my paranormal experiences shifted. And for the longest time, it was very, very scary, the paranormal experiences that I had. And so I ended up shutting myself off from that world altogether. I was not open to it. And because of that, my experiences got a lot and a lot and a lot worse. I'm talking sleep paralysis from your worst nightmares. I'm talking shadow people. I'm talking hearing things that you could only, you just couldn't fathom. I'm talking the scariest shit from your deepest, darkest nightmares. I lived in my real life for about eight years. Fast forward to where I meet Pam, which she has given me permission to use her actual real name. She is a spiritual guide or spiritual life coach. So she is there for people who are trying to figure out what they are, why they're different, and why people don't experience things the same way that they do. Also, in order to work with Pam, you also have had to have psych evaluations and it has to be done within three months. So my journey starts about eight months ago and I went for another psych evaluation. Now, you guys don't know this, but I've had about 20 throughout my life. The reason for that is the paranormal experiences that I had and have had through my life. When I was younger, my family thought that something might be wrong. Nothing ever came back. And to this day, I have still never been diagnosed with anything. So I decided to get a new doctor to do this psych evaluation. He was very kind and he told me that he sees this all the time, but that there is nothing wrong with me. I have not been diagnosed with any type of mental disorder and that this is just something that I will live with. He also informed me of a lady that he had met doing his work who is psychic and he knows his psychic and would like to introduce me to. I got her credentials and I gave those credentials to my life coach, my spiritual life coach. And she said, oh, well, I've got somebody. And that is where the psychic came into play who was just not a psychic. Fast forward to after we find out that this psychic is just not what she says she is. I've been working with my life coach 
solo for a couple of months, and then we decide to contact this psychic. Now, also come to find out, my life coach has worked with this psychic for years. So it ended up being a really, really good situation. The first time that I met her, I got a really good energy from her and I felt some type of attachment to her in some way. And very quickly after she said that we had been drawn together through a spiritual alliance, meaning that I've come in contact with one of her relatives or someone that she's known in her life that's passed on. My spiritual life coach gave me a bunch of test questions to test the psychic from the get-go and every single question that I ask on this checklist, no one could possibly know the answers to. Though I'm on social media, I have never mentioned these things. They are stories that I do want to tell, but I don't wanna tell them until after I have figured out fully what I am. And so we are doing this checklist. She's answering everything exactly correct. I mean, not even vague. She goes into detail. And so at the end of it, I ask her to join and let's figure all of this out. After about a month of going back and forth between my psychic and my spiritual guider, we have come to this conclusion here that basically the new age term for what I am is a connector, a spiritual connector. So the spirits that come into my life are trying to connect in some way with someone from the past life. So someone that they knew from the past life. It has been very rare that I have been able to connect the dots on this. Like I said, I'm not gonna get into much detail on the internet because this isn't up for debate. This is just the way that my life has always been. It's always been this way ever since I was a little girl and it got a lot heavier when I played with the Ouija board. Now, also with my spiritual life coach, me and my old roommate did properly bury the Ouija board. And since that took place, things have been a lot calmer in my home and in my life. However, there is still a heavy presence of spirits. They are caught on camera, on lives all the time. They've been caught in video edits. They have been, I mean, it's, it's constant, constant all the time. And there's many spirits that roam these walls. And basically the reason why my experience is so much different is that a lot of people who are the way that I am haven't come forward because nobody talks about a spiritual connector. Nobody. But that's basically what I am. I'm a spiritual connector and I wish that I could communicate with them. That is what I'm still working on with my spiritual life coach. I have to get into a really, really zen place to be able to communicate with them. Thanks to my spiritual life coach, I have been able to zen my home. I've been able to stand my ground with any spirits that I have come across and communicated with and have let them know that I am still working on the way that I communicate with them and to be patient. From what the psychic has told me is that some spirits may not want to wait around because they're ready to go into the lot. A lot of this too in the beginning was really hard for me to come to terms with and to accept because for a long time I was very much like that is not me. I don't want to be a part of that. I don't want anything to do with that. And the more that I ignore it, it's like the stronger that it gets and pushes me to this is what I am. So for the next year, we are going to work on how I communicate with spirits and just working on everything that there is with me. While I am still learning to communicate with the spirits, I am still learning how to stand my ground and to keep myself, my home and my family safe. So I just didn't want to come and do this update. I probably won't be answering many questions when it comes to this for a while, um, just because I do want to get more informed and more knowledgeable before I really speak on this matter. That is my main issue with this, is that a lot of people who 
use they use this for like a financial gain that is not what i want in this at all and more than anything i want to know what i'm doing at least to some extent before i continue this any further and i hope you guys can understand that and know that this has just been a part of my life for a very long time but it's been a part of my life in a way that i haven't understood and now that i'm starting to understand it I want to use it for good, and the only way I can truly do that is if I take this year and really study and get more comfortable with who I am and learn how to use what I'm capable of to the best advantage. I hope all of that did make sense to you guys. Now, I do have some paranormal story times, many as a matter of a fact from my lifetime still to tell you guys i just want to let you know while i do change time periods none of the stories that i will tell you all until i say this is a story from now currently none of them will be from current day all of them will be from my past when i had no clue what i was whatsoever i was very much like not willing to accept that i was different in any way so please keep that in mind in future story times i hope you all did enjoy this update as vague as it was i promise you in a year we will come forward with a whole lot of information as everything in my life i've been writing everything down so you guys will know every single detail be sure that you do come back around on Thursday. We are going to be telling a story time. And this week, we are going to be telling one of the biggest stories that I have to tell on this channel. This is a night that I will never forget. When I'm laying on my deathbed, I will remember this night. It is the night that my friend's house was raided by the FBI and I was pulled for interrogation. My life is a movie, literally. <laughs> Set your watches, make sure your notifications are on and that you are subscribed. Because out of all of the stories that I've told, this is the one that you do not want to miss. Be sure that you do come around on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays beginning at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We do lives together. They're a lot of fun. We play in makeup. Like this past Sunday, we did a full face of makeup for under 30 bucks. It was all LA Colors makeup and you guys really enjoyed that. We play in skincare and we just chit chat about whatever's going on. Go down into the description box and you follow me on social media and particularly TikTok. We are very close to a thousand, which is when I will be able to go live. And I'm very excited for that. So please, please, please go follow me at TikTok. I love you guys oh so much. And until the very next time, bye. Oh, God. just trying to film the video, y'all. Please calm down in the house, everyone. Please calm down in the house.